Welcome back everyone, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Django. So in the earlier video we have talked about DTL, so let's explore that more. So till this point what we have done is we got this hello Naveen which is the name is actually coming from the Python code which is in views.py but now what I want to do is let's say I want to print hello Naveen but then if you create multiple pages most of the pages will have the same theme right the layout the color scheme will be same what will change is data or the logic for that those particular pages. So what if you can take out some unique thing and keep it somewhere maybe something like uh, I will go back to my template here and I will create one more file and we'll call this as base.html. Now this is where I want to put the basic code which will be common for all the pages. And then in that block, in the body, we can have our own code. So what I'm talking about is, I, I, let me just create a basic layout. Uh, we can simply say exclamation and enter. You can see we'll, we'll get a code, the basic at least. And here I want to change the title. So title I want is Telisco. And then I also want to change the colors. <laughs> I'm a big fan of changing colors. Okay, so I will say body BG color. And I love Cyan. So Okay, in fact, you can also, I don't know if you know this thing, you can also have your own name here. So just type Cyan here and then that, that color I want. Now in this body, so all the pages which you will have, they will replace their content here. Example, if I talk about home.html, this data should go inside this base, base HTML. But how is that possible? To achieve that, again, we are going to write a code here and that too in DTL format or you can say Jinja format. And to achieve that, we have to write curly brackets and you have to enter two percentage sign. This is what we normally do. Okay, this is where you have to say block content. So this, this will be a block where you can put your content. Okay, so when I say block, we have to also end it, right? So that's a block. And 20 block, we have to say end block. Okay, now you can see when I type this code, I'm able to actually see the color. So you can see there's a different color here. That means my Visual Studio code is actually understanding the code which I'm writing. So the block and end block. If in your IDE, if it is coming in white color, you might have to add the extension. Now which extension? So you have to go to here, extension, and you have to add this Jinja extension. So just type Jinja here and say install and that will be done. So when you say Jinja, it, it will ask you, it will give you an option of install. Just install that and reload if it is asking for that, it will give you those things. Okay, now once you got your block here, we have to also go back in home.html because I want to use this in my home.html. Because if you go back to my browser, if I say refresh, you can see we don't have those color, the cyan color. So let's go back to the code. Now if you want to include that here, again we have to use Jinja code here. So you have to extend that base.html, so you have to say extends in single code base.html and this part which is hello will go inside the body oh inside the block and to achieve that we have to say block content and here we have to end it and that's it your job is done let's verify if it is working refresh and can you see that we got cyan color and then we got this hello kiran now if i go back uh, you can also have your name here let me say ria i hope this will work okay ria becomes black uh, let's say Bindi, I'm not, I don't know who is Bindi. So Bindi has, you can see red color. <laughs> much, normally Bindi comes in red color, but I don't know why it's here. So basically it works with the hash value or hexa value. So it will convert your text into hexa value. That's how it works. But stick to Cyan and that should work, right? So this is how we can use the external uh, files here in your code. So that's how you can use like, Explode. Uh, so I hope you got something from this video. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for, for the videos. Bye-bye.